What's the best pulled pork and bourbon pairings? Stay tuned and find out. Hey, welcome back to Barrels and Bark. I'm Zach. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Hey, if you like what we're doing and you're following along, we'd love for you to subscribe and share with others. We'd love to have other people join us on this barbecue and whiskey journey. Today's episode is all about barbecue and bourbon. And I think those two are the best things to pair together. And so today we're going to talk about what bourbons go best with smoked pulled pork. So I love cooking pulled pork. I love smoking pulled pork. Uh, it's one of those things that you just enjoy that process of 10, 12 hours of great smoke and flavor being imparted into the pulled pork. So today we're going to focus on three different bourbons that I think pair the best with smoked pulled pork. All right, number one, first bottle I think goes great with pulled pork is Rare Breed, Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Now this bottle is one of those classic bottles that everybody talks about, that everybody has on their shelf. It's one of those classics that you always go back to because it's tried and true and amazing. And so first off, I wanna start with just smelling, getting a lot of the, the smell from the Rare Breed. Again, classic wild turkey, cherry, caramel, hints of rye. And then you pair that with a nice pile of pulled pork. Let's go in for an actual sample here. Now classic pulled pork is going to have great fat content. It's going to have the juiciness from the pulled pork, the flavors of the salt and pepper and the fat that's broke down to really coat your mouth with that great smoke flavor. That's going to going to linger in your mouth here. And then let's go in for a sip here of some wild Turkey. Right off the bat. What's amazing about this is it just amplifies all the caramel and cherry notes in that rare breed. It takes a little bit of that cut of the alcohol because there's so much fat from the pulled pork, it coats your mouth and a lot of that alcohol and that burn goes away and just amplifies the, the sweetness of the caramel. I get a little bit of apple, uh, red fruits, cherries, um, and then in that nice spice on the back end as it kind of goes down. Let's go again for another sip. I love the sweetness is, 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 is incredible. It, it is beyond what you can imagine. You drink rare breed. It's already has kind of a sweeter bourbon note, but the fat content, the pulled pork amplifies that sweetness. It's almost syrupy sweet right off the bat. And then you get that nice spice, nice rye, the nice baking spice that rolls over the back of your tongue. Great flavors that mix in with this pulled pork. Number two, the second bottle that pairs great with smoked pulled pork is 1792 Full Proof. Again, another strong bourbon. I think anything that's going to be a higher proof is going to go really well with barbecue because it's going to cut through a lot of the fattiness and the strong smoke flavors from the pulled pork. And so when you go with a higher proof, it kind of balances really, really well with this pulled pork here. So Again, let's go in for a, a taste of some pulled pork and then a sip of whiskey. Again, we do our pulled pork kind of Texas style, low and slow, salt and pepper and hickory wood. Just that savory, rich fat, uh, grease and moisture from the pulled pork along with that salt and pepper just gives a really strong coating in your mouth. Let's go in for 1792 here. Again, a lot of caramel. It's not uh, super strong. Let's go in for a sip. Man, super caramely. It is like uh, just hot fudge and caramel uh, eating it. It's, it's super, super sweet. It's thick. It coats the back of your mouth really, really well. Again, a lot of the, the fattiness from the pulled pork covers and coats your mouth. And so a lot of that strong alcohol kick dissipates a lot. And then you just get those strong notes of caramel, a lot of oak and leather actually on the back end there as it kind of goes down, but a very strong, sweet caramel fudge. Just overloaded caramel. That's all you get is just that nice, thick caramel, hot caramel, um, like on top of a sundae, 
really pairs really well, cuts through really well. That salt and pepper savory mixed in with that nice caramel overtone that kind of covers it. Great, great whiskey. All right, bottle number three that goes great. Uh, bourbon that goes great with your pulled pork is Knob Creek Nine Year. I went with something that's very regularly available that everyone can find. 100 proof Knob Creek Nine Year. Again, this Knob Creek, if you are familiar with Knob Creek, there's great spices with it. There's great brown sugar, bourbon flavors that I think is going to pair really well with the pulled pork here. And so let's go in here and have another bite and then we'll sample the Knob Creek. Now, Knob Creek just has that great smell. Again, some nuttiness, some brown sugar, some of that spice. I'm going for a sip here. Wow. What's really interesting with the Knob Creek is a lot of the sweetness is, is toned down and you get a lot more of the oak in the spice in the um, baking spice, the rye spice, a lot more of that tingle comes in. So you get sweet right up front, and then the sweetness drops off and you get just loads of that oak, uh, that rye spice, the baking spice, the tingle. Really, really interesting how it balances with the salt and pepper and the smokiness of the, the pulled pork has this great balance of spice and sweet, tingly from the rye, uh, from the baking spice, from the oak. You get some of that leathery kind of back end, um, really interesting flavors here. Yeah, this one I think Knob Creek probably is my favorite out of these. The other two had, had a little bit more of the, the really sweet, caramel, uh, sugary kind of upfront. The Knob Creek, I think, just adds a lot of that spice and tingle that balances really well with the smoky salt, pepper, fattiness of the pulled pork. You really get kind of that really interesting uh, cut through, that mix of the two. I think it just brings a lot more of that extra flavor into the pulled pork. So there you have it. Those are three bourbons that I think pair amazing with smoked pulled pork. I would get out, get some smoked pulled pork, grab a bottle, try it out. Test it out. See how different the flavors are from eating it and sipping it and seeing how the fat content and the flavors of the pulled pork mix with a bourbon. Again, my recommendation would be this. Go higher proof, higher, bolder flavors will cut through a lot more of the fattiness and the smoky flavor and give you a great balance of the two. And so those are three bottles that I recommend. Get out and find one, try one. We'll see you again.